Before the robotic milkers went in, it was a lot more labor intensive. And that was part of the reason we decided to go with the robotic milking. Our goal with the robots is to make it easier for the people that are doing the work, take advantage of that technology, but we can do it in a safe and healthy manner for the cows. They can lay down, eat, if they want to get up and go get milk, they can do so, and it's open for business 24-7. So the cow comes in the box, and it'll immediately start dropping feed for her to eat. Most of the time that keeps them, keeps them really calm, they don't really move a whole lot when they're eating. As soon as she's in, the washing brush will come in. There's two brushes on there that spin. There's a disinfectant solution on the brushes. So that's the part that's kind of replacing the pre-dipping and the, the wiping that we did in the traditional milking parlor. So the brushes come in, they hit each quarter two times, come out and rinse, and then go back in, hit each quarter one more time, and then it blows air on it to dry it. The brushes go, go out, and then the arm comes back in, and gets ready to attach the unit. So it kind of starts kind of low, and it will scan, uses a, a laser, and then it'll attach the unit one at a time. As the cow milks out, it's measuring milk flow on individual quarters. Well, one of the advantages to the robots over our old way of milking was, in the past, we'd take the whole unit off at one time. In the robot, we take each individual quarter off as it gets done. And once all the units are off, um, they can kind of fold forward to keep them out of the way and clean, and then it'll spray, a, spray an iodine post-dip solution on each quarter. Arm moves out of the way, gate opens, out she goes, next cow comes in. <laughs>